Thank you for listening to American Medicine Today. I'm Kimberly Brumell, joined by world-renowned orthopedic surgeon Dr. Alfred Benatti, our senior fellow Jeff Wagstaff, and we have Aaron Jacobson as well. Now, before the break, we were speaking with patient Gary Stadola, and I hope I pronounced that right this time, sir. I apologize. Yes, yes. Um, but he was telling us about uh, suffering and pain and going through surgery where you had pins in you and and um, and it cracked. Um, what did you call it? The pelvis. was it the the pelvis and oh and you were out of commission for about three months, bed rest, and. Um, you had mentioned that there was something else um, with those pins that Dr. Benatti saw while he was operating on you at the Benatti Spine Institute. And just to preface this, the pins were not, not put in by Dr. Benatti. This was a surgery that you had elsewhere. Yes, yes. Um, it came aware after he did my right side, my sciatica pain had started to come back, but actually started giving me pain right where the pins were. Mm-hmm. And Dr. Benatti, this was back in October of 2013, mm-hmm. had said, well, take longer for prep than it would take to do it, but he could go in and cut a nerve no bigger than the strand of my hair that I wouldn't feel that pin anymore, mm-hmm. that have feeling on that side anymore for about three months. Mm-hmm. And then if the feeling came back, it would show that there's an issue and it's just not basically in my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as going in to do that the surgery ended up being over three hours instead of 15 minutes because thank the lord he had with his camera following the sciatic nerve had come aware that when they put the pins in they had entrapped my sciatica nerve in between the joint that was growing oh. shut that was being fused together Oh, that's incredible. And it was basically in the next two years, I would have been paralyzed, would not have been walking with my right leg at all if he hadn't mm-hmm. been come across that in going in to inspect my pins. So he made a canal, basically lasered out a chamber for that nerve to be free through. Mm-hmm. And then we let it go. Well, that was, let's say, in October, come. Mm-hmm. January, February, that pin started bothering me pretty severely again. Mm-hmm. The nerve had grown back, apparently, or whatever. But uh, at that time, we were continuing to do the lapidectomy on the left side for my spinal stenosis. Ooh. So it wasn't on the same side he was working. So right. we went ahead and I believe we did L. Four L five L five S one on the left, mm-hmm. and L three to L four. Well, we didn't do four to five. We did three to four, five mm-hmm. to S one. Got it. Where on the right we had done all uh, all lumbar and the S one. Wow. Uh, during those surgeries, it was a piece of cake. Uh, something you can expect if he does these surgeries. I like to do the last, they do the next day, they take the drain out and they do a pain, a pain block and mm-hmm. spinal block. Mm-hmm. And I've done that all but one time. And you can actually expect to, if you get the spinal block for the next three days, you'll be comfortable. Mm-hmm. The fourth day, you'll be in a lot of pain. Okay. By the fifth day, though, you'll wake up without the pain, even 50%. Mm -hmm. And after that, you're Mm -hmm. better than you were, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, If you elect not to tip the pain pain block, the next day after, well, second day after surgery, you will start hurting, and you will hurt for five days. (laughs) But a totally different type of pain than the one that you went in there with, correct? Oh, yes, right. yes. I'm talking about yeah, site surgery site pain. pain. Yes. Uh, the pains that he's in there to fix, like like I said, I mean, he can look at the MRI and tell you exactly what nerve is doing mm-hmm. what. And mm-hmm. when he goes in there, he, he precisely re- did, releases that pain. Did that amaze you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was 
there's other things that I, I did two times. I went back in, um, uh, mm-hmm. one of my own neglect. I was after the, the surgery back mm-hmm. in 2013 on the right side. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was proceeding, I was under a house swinging a sledgehammer, and oh. I kind of locked up in my back. And oh, so I made an appointment with him to continue getting the left side done. Mm-hmm. But that was the one that really was an instantaneous. Uh, he found a piece of bone down in my in between my L4 and L5, mm-hmm. trapped in the vertebrae. Ooh. That when he was in there doing the surgery I was like that right there that is what I feel yeah and it was like just pulling a piece of wood out of my out of my finger you mm-hmm. know as far as the pain being released just mm-hmm. instant release then huh Gary <laughs> yeah and what it was was he had found he he'd, where it came from wasn't known but there was a, a floating a piece of bone floating mm-hmm. around that had gotten lodged in my vertebrae wow um, that was instantaneous like that is it pull it out and it was gone i don't i don't know if you remember gary that the the pin that you had uh, the last the i mean the last pin the three pins the yeah. lower pin that pin was penetrating your pelvis and was sitting exactly on top of the sciatic nerve so remember that when we tried to take the pin out there I need to use a hammer to hammer the pin out. And the first time that we tried to take the pin out, that pin was so solid, like a rock there, that was unable to come. So we need to reschedule you to be able to use a new instrumentation to make a hole around the pin so we can lose the pin a little bit. And then we took the pin out, and when we removed the pin from there, the pain was completely gone from your leg, correct? Yeah, that was the other one I was going to get to as, <laughs> yep. as far as instantaneous. Wow. I've been complaining about that pin. And imagine a uh, snow Gary? pack on top of a nail. Oh. And the more the snow <laughs> piles up, the Gary? farther the nail hey, Gary, we're up against in. a break, but we want to thank you for sharing your story with us. And, and, Sorry. and we're glad to hear that you have relief now. Okay. Thank you very much. You're listening to American Medicine today on News Radio 970 WFLA. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti spine procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti spine procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. The Bonatti Spine Institute is proud to announce more than a 94% patient reported success rate in over 45,000 patent protected spine surgical procedures. Call us today at 855-267-0483 or visit us at bonatti.com. All my pain is gone, gone, gone. Today I am totally pain free, nothing, no after effect. I'm pain-free, and I have had to take any pain medication. Today I am pain-free for the first time in over a year, and it is so awesome. I only wish I'd known about it earlier. Right now, I am completely without pain. Sitting here in this office right now, pain-free, eager to enjoy the rest of my life. I am feeling great. I feel 100% better like a new person. Today I feel absolutely fantastic. It's just incredible the relief I feel right now. Today I'm completely pain free. During the procedure I literally felt the pain melt away. It was fantastic. I feel so, so good. It took care of my headaches instantly. It's incredible. It's really incredible. You gave me my life back. It's just wonderful. I feel fantastic. It is just absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping to be climbing hills in a few weeks.
Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail.